Hello and welcome to my let's play for Seven Saga. I have no idea why it's called Seven Saga, but I suppose we'll find that out as we play, won't we? So let's get started with this if I can. Just wait for this to start up. Skip this. I'll upload that later. It's a separate thing. So that's pretty cool. I'm going to erase this and start the whole thing again. Because it was from previous attempts at recording this, it failed miserably. So. There are seven characters you can choose from. There's a human, a tattoo gin, which appears to be a mechanical person, a dwarf, which is obvious, uh, basically Gimli with blue hat. Another human, this one is a magic user, the previous one was a warrior, if the sprites weren't obvious enough. Then there's an elf, who is apparently a white mage. Don't leave yourself there. A demon, which is what the character I'll be playing as, because it's the one I've um, found most useful so far in previous attempts at this. And an alien, which is... I'm actually not really sure, because I haven't tried it before, but don't really care, so... It's like demon. I was filling my name. Very bland name, but I'm, it's mine, so yay. Yes, because that's my correct name. I have multiple names in many dimensions, but that one is mine in this one. A bit of exposition with apparently these people have been training here for five years, and it's time to test skills and such. You know, usual RPG fare. Uh, Not really much else to say about this. Uh, the missions to find seven runes, hidden onto Kondry. I'm sure you can all read, but you know, summarizing things. Get all the runes and get tremendous power to become the leader of the world. So, pretty basic, although this time instead of uh, protecting the world, sorry, protecting the world from a ruler, you are the one trying to apparently rule the world here with the runes. So, that's interesting. Apparently the guy in the chair's name is Lemily, so that's cool. Uh, time for more expositions. Different forms, difficult to identify them. Maybe some of these will be bosses, I wonder. Crystal Ball is one of the cooler, cooler mechanics in this game that I've come across. And because of, well, for reasons I'll detail when we get into that part. Okay, everyone's got a crystal ball, and uh, these are the other characters you could have played as if you'd chosen them. So I chose the demon, that's what I'm playing with. Yay, have fun. And I've already done so. Talking to a lot of people in this game will be very useful for reasons I'll um, go into when I do talk to someone that is useful. The person in the weapon shop. Who tells you something invaluable to surviving the first bit of the game. Now this is largely menu based. Um, there's your stats, HP and MP. Open the menu with the A button, and there's five options. The talk option talks to anyone nearby. Let's get close to, to talk to them. Like that. That was useless, but there we go. Uh, magic lets you see what spells you have, and if you have any healing ones, cast one to heal yourself, obviously. If the demon starts off with fire one, and enough um, uh, MP to cast three spells, because it costs three MP in total. So... Yay, I can burn things. Don't have any items at the moment. Thank you, badly translated text, but mm, not too bad. You say it's zero wing. Um, that's where the items, you'll be able to use items, obviously. I'm just stating the obvious, but just for the sake of waffle. Uh, that's just what we've currently got equipped and what we currently look like. We need 116 experience to level up. And we currently, for some reason, automatically have 24. Maybe that was quest experience for talking to the king guy. Because uh, I'm only at level 1. So apparently it wasn't level up experience. So I have 200 gold, but that's not quite enough for the purposes of what we'll be using it for. Because I'll be using it to buy weapons once I've saved up enough of it. And there's an extra page of stats with the more detailed ones. And then search allows you to open chests and such if you're near one, or search book, or get more information on bookcases and such, and varying other random items. 
these are very useful because uh, when you search at them, you uh, drink a mouthful of water and it automatically heals both stats fully. So, yay, healing points. Now, uh, we'll just continue walking out the castle. We're finally out of it. Yes! Whee! Or not. Hey. Okay. Quite a big castle, there are a lot of fountains. Which is amazing because I don't think anyone ever invades this thing at the moment. I haven't got that far yet, so. Probably will be at some point, it's probably why there's so many. The weapon shops, do. this is a place where I'll show you why it's useful to talk to everyone. Uh, that guy over there says he's something invaluable if you talk to him. Use defense before attack when you're in battle. Or you will get owned. This is where your HP will temporarily increase. And, it, and it also, you won't get owned by the first thing you fight, like I sometimes do, because I forget that advice and screw up. So, uh, to get the best sword here, the Anim sword, which, because it has, hasn't got an X next to it, he can equip, I need 250 gold. So, let's put that into the uh, total pool, and also, let's see the armor if this bloody warrior move, thank you. Now, here's the armor shop. Looks more like a gem than a shield, I know, but yeah, no, let's roll with it. Yep. And to get the cotton armor, which is best than what I currently have equipped, I need 440 gold. So in total, that's 790 gold, I think, if I remember correctly. So let's get that amount. Okay, so let's leave town and have fun. After talking to this woman who gives you a free potion. Thank you, horrendous crone. So, um, by the way, um, I think this is it. Yep, this is the inn, the most important building in the fucking game. Because it's the only way you can save it without save states. I'll still be using save states because I'm not really, you know, sure about them, but... I'll only really be using safe states, partly through dungeons and such. Now this is the crystal ball, it's the random encounter system, it's the not so random encounter system rather. Here's an example, and that's what I like about this game, the fact that you actually fight right where you stand. And that's why you defend before you attack, because then you block and evade a lot of the time and only take a small amount of damage. If I wasn't defending first, I'd probably be dead by now. Attack. And now, just for fun, I'll show you the spell, fire. Burn! Boom! And Hermit lost! Because he's now a cinder. And I got 12 gold and 26 experience for that. Nowhere near enough to level up, but it'll add up quite well, actually. So, let's continue fighting and perhaps level up at all. Because when you level up, things get a lot easier. Believe me. Oh. Okay, this thing it looks like I'm going to have to burn. If it'll work, please. Thank you. And now I'm looking really dire. That was really annoying. Didn't know how powerful the wyverns actually were, so... Quick! Run away! And now I'll go to the inn, heal and save, and wrap it up here because I'm running out of time. There we go, resting, and it's saved, so goodbye.